Hi everyone, uh, Kathy Ryan in uh, Bundaberg, Queensland here from Australia Art Dreaming. I've uh, been watching YouTube and I thought I might uh, fix the leg on this table. No, I thought that I might um, have a little bit of an experiment here. I've used up the last of the um, uh, mirror effect spray and as you can see what I did this time this is a, a canvas it's a bit wonky and um, and old but I, I what I'm I wanted to do I I had it, um, a base coat on there nice and dry been there for a few weeks and then I thought I wonder what the um, mirror effect would look like not on the canvas but over a uh, um, you know a dry background so I uh, sprayed over it and then the geckos walked on it overnight so I have a lot of geckos here but anyway it's going to be all right um, for this ex experiment and the um, little bit of extras I have here and that they might make a little bit of texture or something so uh, what I do have here I have some uh, Montmartre deep sand woo and I've mixed that up nice consistency a um, bit runny for some things but nice for others and I also have um, some printers in my um, printer blocked up and I have to have it repaired and I've got a couple of hundred dollars worth of ink <laughs> just sitting there and I thought oh well I'll use some of that so that's the red ink and um, it has a small amount of pouring medium in it as does this one of course they both have silicon and I'm about to put a spritz of the alcohol into the ink all right that should do that so they can sit there with that now I have here a good amount of my pouring medium in there with uh, there's nothing in there only the pouring medium which is PVA glue water and Floetrol so what I'm going to do is what I saw on Facebook that but then I'm going to do something I did not see on Facebook I'm going to do this. That might be enough. And then just, I don't want to mix them, but if they make some nice colours, that'd be okay. And then just do like a dirty pour, I suppose, so that you get the nice patterns. And the white, of course, is the um, pouring medium, which will dry clear. So, I just wanted to see what this would be like um, over the uh, mirror effect and stretch it out a little bit. wanted the um, more feathery um, 
smoky sort of look to it anyway, so I don't mind that the darker bits sort of went off. doesn't appear that uh, that did any difference. The, uh, so what I might do is just, since we're only playing here anyway, just put a little dabble do you. Everywhere except Yes, that's bringing the silver up, so that's quite um, interesting in itself, isn't it? like I have to redo my dots. I might just go and um, quickly grab the silicon and have a look. silicon out because I didn't expect this to be happening did I? should always expect the unexpected I suppose when you're playing with paint. I'm getting some little look at that okay this is this is going to be fun. Whoops. first time at having a proper go at this. I uh, did try this some time ago off camera and <laughs> I could not get the little patterns out there. So I'm quite happy this time to be playing. Give these a bit more. You want a bit more too. And I really like the way they're rolling around on me. Yes. See what happens if we just move them around a little bit.
think perhaps last time um, I might have had the paint too thick because this is really quite thin. And I really like the patterns that I'm getting. Bring that one there. If you're wondering why I've got paint all over this table, it's just about ready to go um, to the old tables. Wherever they go, and uh, <coughs> it's rusted pretty badly from being out in the weather, so I don't mind if it gets paint on it before it goes, serves a purpose. I'm actually tipping this back into here, so come on, Danny, come. Just going to try and cover up those bits. That's, uh, I might just see how we go here, we're doing this. Same paint, just reusing. Oops. I'm not that uh, worried about covering up all of the mirror effect spray simply because I'm only using just the smallest amount of um, paint as you saw and the tiniest little bit of um, ink so when this dries it should um, that was on the gecko's foot I think it should um, dry clear and you should still be able to see um, the spray underneath so what was I doing? I was going to do some of these again wasn't I? maybe one here and then some of this Even got the alcohol on it yet, can't wait to get moving. <laughs> that little tweet tweet in the background there is not my canary, um, that's what we call a olive honey eater, and they're a little tad smaller than a canary, extremely pretty, um, and obviously um, an olive colour. I might try a bit of the blue, see how that goes. He comes down to speak to my canary. Oh, the blue 
is reacting. That's the um, acrylic paint. That's reacting, but uh, not as much as these chaps here. just leave this bloke to dry and then bring you back to show you what has happened. Hopefully uh, more of the mirror effect will come out, especially if I do this I suppose, because I kind of like the dots. And this is what I'm sprinkling on here, is the alcohol. Right. So, I will leave it at that and uh, bring you back shortly. I might do another blue one there because just one blue one doesn't kind of do much for me there. Right, as I was just saying, I will be back shortly. Right, I'm in my garden and the painting is touch dry and as you can see the uh, pouring medium has dried off and you can see the mirror um, spray effect and uh, <laughs> it's quite uh, shall we say eye-catching now, I know that that's not a very pretty painting, but it was an experiment. And so from this experiment, I have learned four things. One, that the uh, Rustalian mirror effect, um, it works better and looks much nicer on a, a smooth surface. And if you remember, I had said that I had uh, already painted over um, this surface before I put the rust on. The second one is that I used too much of the pouring medium on the canvas and that let the uh, paints and or ink uh, move around too easily which actually stopped it from making the proper fractals and um, while I was rolling it around trying to get some of the paint off, I murdered all the cells. So that was um, pretty sad. Um, although I did still get some fractals, but most of them um, stretched out too far and, and look at that one, isn't that pretty? Um, most of them stretched out too far and that was because there was too much um, move, uh, too much uh, pouring medium on the canvas. Number three, uh, the ink and the uh, ink and the paint work well together, but the paint needed to be even more thin than I had it. At least that's my opinion, and um, I quite like what it did do but I think had it been thinner, it would have gone even nicer. And the um, paint and or ink in the pouring medium makes a very nice marble or smoky effect. So, you know, this, this sort of thing, uh, especially if you were using a white or a silver, you could have uh, a smoky effect through your trees or, or whatever but I really don't mind this painting 
because I think I can enhance it and probably do something more with it. It kind of looks to me like a bit of a fantasy, um, you know, forest or something with little roads and trees. So, yeah, that's. Please give this video the thumbs up and come across and you'll find the link under show more to Australia Dreaming and yeah please, as I said please give it the thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video bye